everyone welcome to this updated video this morning i really hope you guys are doing well and we're going to be taking a look at what is going on out there so on the infrared satellite imagery of the north atlantic we can see that there is some activity in some areas especially northern south america lots of thunderstorms lots of rain across areas including colombia venezuela and even parts of the Guyana. So we'll be zooming in down there in a moment. We'll be looking at the rainfall forecast as well. There is all that activity associated with a trough, the same trough that brought quite the rainfall increase to sections of the northeastern Caribbean. And then for the U.S., there are some thunderstorms moving into Missouri. We're seeing those white dots right there and also uh, a bit of action along the coast, the Gulf Coast and offshore the East Coast. Now, as we zoom into South America, again, there you can see that there is a lot going on and those white dots indicate lightning strikes. So quite a bit in terms of rainfall and thunderstorm activity across the area. But then as we look to the Caribbean, for the most part, much is not happening. A few cloud clusters here and there. Uh, but aside from that, there's really nothing going on. But I want to point out that some of this activity is being pushed up to the north. So there is going to be a more substantial chance of rainfall today for the ABC Islands. And it's generally dry down there because the intertropical convergence zone typically lies south. And uh, tropical waves and tropical cyclones typically pass north. So there's that sort of a dry area right there in the southeast caribbean but again there is some activity pushing up and that should help out and bring some rainfall today as we look at the rainfall map there are these green and yellow shadings around for parts of the caribbean not for the entirety of the region so few showers are possible across the bahamas and turks and caicos islands even some spots in eastern cuba but the majority, probably around 95% of Cuba should be dry today. Much not really expected for the Cayman Islands. And for sections of Jamaica, there could be some showers. So over the recent days, we've actually received some rain in different areas, such as Kingston, Montego Bay, St. Elizabeth. Uh, different areas across the island have received rain, but some are still needing a substantial downpour. Then as we head to Hispaniola, similar story, there could be some showers today, especially in the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, and through most of the Lesser Antilles, heading down to Trinidad, Tobago. Some downpours are certainly possible for the ABC Islands. We're starting to see a little bit of color. That's not something we see very regularly. So there could be some shower activity, most, uh, more than likely intermittent showers as we head through today. Northern South America, it is very colorful. We are seeing some of those dark uh, red, those burgundy shadings, and even some purples popping up as well. So there could be some additional heavy rain, and it could result in flooding. You can let me know what's been happening for you uh, down there. And so heading towards Central America now, it's a contrast, not as much color, but parts of El Salvador, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, even southern Costa Rica and sections of Panama may experience some downpours. Similar story for the uh, the offshore islands of San Andres and Providencia. So that is what is expected today in terms of rainfall. And then in terms of the wind, parts of the uh, Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands and even Cuba going to the Cayman Islands likely to be a bit windy today even going towards the central caribbean we're seeing some of those darker shades of purple but elsewhere puerto rico virgin islands most of the lesser antilles uh even parts of central america unlikely to be very very windy as we head through today now in the title i mentioned that there is a surge coming in that is a saharan dust surge so at times there are these massive plumes of dust that exit the african desert in africa and this plume, well, these plumes, they're carried westward by the trade winds. So trade winds, they're prevailing winds from east to west, always blowing. And that is the reason uh, the dust is able to make it to the Caribbean. So we're looking at the forecast here as we're going to be heading into today, through today, tomorrow. There is already some dust around. So if you're in the Lesser Antilles, you're, you may notice that it is hazy, especially in the distance. When you look at those mountains, it may seem a little bit uh, hazy out there. 
but guess what a denser plume of dust is coming this weekend so we're seeing those darker brown shades so that is representative of a higher dust concentration so a lot more dust coming in for the uh, eastern caribbean islands as we head into this weekend and early next week what does this mean well the dust has its negative effects it can trigger allergies or respiratory conditions it can cause skin and eye even throat irritation as well especially with that denser plume moving in this weekend so the areas that will be affected by to the lesser antilles and even going towards puerto rico the virgin islands some of that dust also likely to uh, make it to the dominican republic and even uh, the abc islands and northern south america as well the guyanas even headed towards venezuela as we head into monday of next week so that is what is expected guys and of course it also helps to stabilize the atmosphere and it makes the environment uh unfavorable as it relates to seeing a lot of convection so when it comes down to those tropical waves and even tropical cyclones as well when the, whenever there is some dust intrusion you would find that it really helps to dissipate a lot of the convective activity in association with them so Again, another dust plume is coming in and that is going to be resulting in those very hazy conditions and those negative health effects. So please stay safe uh, and stay hydrated as well as also quite hot. Now, finally, we're delving off a little bit into the realm of hurricane season. So there has been a new prediction from the North Carolina State University. So as I mentioned, there are all these different organizations that give their predictions in april we've been having them and so a new one has been issued this new prediction is calling for 15 to 20 named storms of which 10 to 12 of those could become hurricanes and three to four major hurricanes and a major hurricane if you're not aware is basically any hurricane that's a cat three four or five so once there's a hurricane strengthening and it reaches at least category three status, it would now be considered a major hurricane. So another active forecast that has been the trend. And so again, we're heading into a La Nina phase, which typically favors a more active hurricane season. And also there are above average sea surface temperatures. So those really help to favor development. Hence the reason all these predictions are so active. But of course, I'll be keeping you guys posted on all that is happening. I'll be talking a lot more about the hurricane season in subsequent videos. And so that is basically what I wanted to share with you for now. And I really do hope you found this update to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond to you when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.